You say that basically with your chest that you're not gay. If that you're not gay. I'm not gay. Okay. But do, you, do, do people think or tell you that you're gay? A lot. So, if any guy is having sex with, Bob, with Bobrisky, yes, doesn't that mean the person is gay? The person is not gay. No, I'm coming to you. Like, I'm giving you an instance. So, if someone now, a guy, has sex with Bobrisky now, yes. they are not gay? He's not gay. Why? He's still as a woman. I didn't learn being effeminate. I just found myself growing up as an effeminate man. Mm. Now, for a guy to have sex with another guy for the very first time that does not make him gay okay like i said sexual identity and sexual expression is different just like in beauty so, so, so something they've gotten that a man should be a certain way men don't cry men don't wear pink men don't do lip gloss you got a guy dry mouth to the worker men don't do pedi- those i don't understand why so i was saying he went to the mall a lady stopped him that for you to keep her marriage, she she usually bring boys for her husband. Like they, they are doing whatever, three summer, whatever. But it must be a guy. That's that. Okay. Would you have sex with Bob Risky? If I would have sex with Bob Risky. Yes. <laughs> I will. You will? Yes. Okay, welcome to J Squad Entertainment. My name is Josh, aka Mr. J Squad. And right now, today, we're going to be talking about gender identity. So we have someone basically who is actually a man who, who, who has certain characteristics as a female and who would like to actually share his story and for us to actually get and understand basically, you know, the the concept or the little interest is about basically having a man who actually has an identity of a female. So in the studio with me, we have... Tekena. Tekena. Yeah. All right. So Tekena. So tell me about yourself, basically. Let's start. Tell me about yourself. Okay. My name is Tekena. I'm from Calabari. I'm a final year student of National University of Education studying business management, and I'm also an entrepreneur. Okay. I own two businesses, which is one for air growth, and the other is for household cleaning agents. Okay. So currently, I'm also working in a water production company. Mm. Okay, so, um, so you are known to be an effeminate man, basically, yeah? So, um, do you mind just expl- ex- explain to us, like, you know, what does that mean exactly? Okay. Being an effeminate person or being an effeminate man, it's a characteristic or a trait that does not really align with the way the society wants you as a man. It's just like a man acting certain way like a female having some female traits, having some female characteristics. It might be his mode of talking, mannerism, his dress mode, or maybe wearing makeup. It does not really align with the society standards. So being effeminate, you're just having the character of a female or the traits of a female. Okay, cool. Yeah. And um, why, why, so why do you think basically you tend to act like a female? Like what is it? Is it... Um, the way you were, or is it a choice? Is it a matter of choice? Or is it something that you feel like is a hormone, hormonal thing? Or is it kind of the way you were brought up or something about the society? So why do you act like a female? Okay. I won't really say I act like a female. When someone says you act like a female, I don't see that as a threat or something. It's something I was born with. A lot of persons don't understand this, a guy acting like a female or a guy being an effeminate, or someone being an effeminate guy. It's something I was born with. I've never learned it from anywhere. As a growing child, I saw myself just growing like that. No one taught me. But people, people would be like, where you learned this one from? Who teach you? You understand? Like, while I was in my teaching practice, one of the teachers called me. I'm like, ah, are you like, how many girls do you have at two? I was like, I don't understand the question. She said, because you're being like a girl. I said, oh, really? She said, yes. And she said, because it usually when maybe a guy with seven girls living together. I told her, no, I was born like this. I found myself like this. So, so someone would be like, I didn't learn being effeminate. I just found myself growing up as an effeminate man. Okay. So, um, in that situation, basically, um, do you, okay, how many siblings were you brought up with? We are just three. Okay. How many boys, how many girls? Two girls. I'm the only guy. So, you can see where that problem can actually come on. Can't, what is it a problem? Or where that, um, where people can actually perceive that identity? Because mo- I w- want to be noticed most times that um, there's any ways, basically, that you can, because of the fact that you are brought up a lo- a lo- around with a lot of female people, that you can actually like inherit or be able to um, blend in with the people, the female people around you. You understand? Um, 
I believe your father's still there and still in the picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. And would you guys say you we say you were close to him? Not really. Not really. Yeah. Was he always at home? Not really. Not really. Yeah. So basically your institution basically where you were always kind of <laughs> with the females. So your mom was there, female? Yes, she was there. Sisters females. Yeah. I don't know if you had maids at that time. Mm, yes. Yes, female, I believe I believe, right? You said? And they're also female too. Yeah. Okay. So do you think that these things is what kind of kind of will help to, or when I say like kind of molded you to have that characteristic of a, fe- of a female? No, no, no. I disagree. Okay. It's not about, see, look, there's one thing people don't really understand. Gender expression is different from gender identity. This is how I've been, like this is how from birth I've been expressing myself. Mm-hmm. It's not something I learned. Okay, I get, okay, let me say, I didn't really know the term effeminate and other while I was much younger, but I found myself growing up like this. Fine, I lived in the midst of girls, but that does not really mean, that because of with girls, I started having that kind of characteristics, opportunity, such movement, talking and all the rest. No, I just found myself growing into it. It's not something like learned or because I stayed with people who are all female and no, it's not that way for me. Okay, so what what would you say your sexual orientation is? My sexual orientation. Yes, I'm straight. You're straight. Yeah. So would you say so? Can you say that basically with your chest that you're not gay? If that you're not gay, I'm not gay. Okay, but do, you, do people think or tell you that you're gay? A lot. Why do you think so? No, this is it. Like I like I used to tell myself. The society has already have that mindset that the moment a guy is a feminine, man is a feminine, is automatically a gay, which is not so because I know a lot of effeminate men who are married. Fine, they might be married and they might still be bisexual and all the rest. But I know a lot of effeminate people who are not gay. Like when I mean they are not gay. So the society has already have that mindset that from the moment you're effeminate, you're automatic gay. No, whereas they're not looking at those men who are muzzler, um, able-bodied, who are into it. The society does not look at those people. They only look at the people who are effeminate. So if someone can be effeminate and they are not gay, and I know a lot of people who are effeminate, like when I mean they are effeminate and they are... Okay. So do you think, okay, when was the last time you were in a relationship? Or are you in a relationship? I'm not in a relationship. Okay. When was the last time you were in a relationship? I can't remember. You can't remember? Yeah. Is there any reason why you were not in a relationship? There is no reason. Okay. Have you been with a girl before? Yes, I have. How long ago? It's over a year. Over a year? Yeah. Okay. And did they feel like you were too feminine for them? Yeah, they do. And do you think it's the reason why you were not in a relationship? That's not really the reason. I just want to focus on myself. Focus on yourself. Yeah. Okay. So, but I believe that you have a lot, a lot of feminine or feminine guys as friends. Yes, I do. Okay. Is there any situation basically where, or do you also have gay friends? I do. Okay. Now, do you feel comfortable around them? I feel comfortable. Okay. Do you feel there's any difference between the characteristics of someone who is gay and someone who is a, fe- a feminine man? No, sorry, I want to your question. Mm-hmm. But now let me tell you something. How do you know a guy is gay? Like I just said, the society I was going to be to be only when a guy is effeminate. There are straight presenting men, straight presenting men who are gay in the society. Mm-hmm. But we don't think or call them to be gay because they look man, they are into maybe all this sporty activity, they go for gene, but they are queer people. Mm-hmm. So we only look at those effeminate people. So me being around maybe a gay person or having a gay friend does not make me feel like, does not make me feel bad. Ah, I'm, I'm hanging around a regular person. Now, was it, I think it was last week because I do deliveries for my air product. So on my, on my page, I don't have a picture. On my WhatsApp, there's no picture if you check. So someone was, because I, really, I usually run adverts for my products. So someone messaged me, a guy, he thought I'm a lady. So we've been conversing like a guy and a lady. I did not tell him I'm a male, I'm not we're just conversing. So he asked me to bring the product, like a delivery. I told him I'm using a ride. He said, no, I should come by myself. So I got to the apartment he told me at this area. When I got there, he was like, okay, I'm outside. I told him I'm, I'm outside, come pick up. It was like, when he came, I was like, ah, Am I the one you're chatting me for a very long? I said, yes, I'm like, oh, no, that he cannot buy you. That he, thought, he thought he's a lady, you. He never knew he's a guy. 
I'm like, ah, why? He said, no, I, I, I thought it was safe. Our guy, we, we even did voice call. I don't know how he was convinced or not that my voice is a, is, is a lady's voice. I don't know how convinced he was. That, ah, he cannot buy a product from me. He doing like he cannot the rest. Honestly, I felt bad, but I'm like, okay, now everybody must not buy your product. Maybe he does not like associating himself with people that are effeminate. So, be being or having friends that are, that are gay people, I don't feel anything bad about it. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you more. Let me eat more, give more direct questions. So basically, you're, you're not gay. Yeah, I'm not. Are you bisexual? I'm not bisexual. Have you thought about being gay or bisexual? I've not about being gay before. I've not. You not thought about it. Yeah. You're not in a situation. Basically, you're you're comfortable around people who are gay. Like if I'm not comfortable around people. Yeah. But you're comfortable around people. I'm who comfortable. Are gay. Yeah. Yeah. So my point is like so. Mo- I'm to ask you a question. Basically, like, what are the differences between um that you feel like differences between someone who is a feminine guy and someone who is gay? Apart, apart from the main action of the whole thing, but in terms of characteristics, w- okay. w- what are the, what are, what would you say, is there any, is there any difference basically? In there is not, there is n- no difference. There's no difference. No difference. So yes. you can see the reason why people can actually see, basically yeah. or identify or you as being gay. Yeah. So in your, among your, the, among your gay friends that you have, that you normally st- chill with, had there any situation where they've tried to try or initiate you into that whole side sorry to say there's nothing like initiation okay when i when i mean let me let me rephrase the word or they've okay. tried to um check you they try to you know g- hit on you basically no sorry to one, come, yeah okay i get what you're saying now one thing those effeminate guys won't ask you out like won't ask me out those okay effeminate people won't really Okay, ah, from alpha guy, I like you kind of stuff. Let's like, no. How does it, it work? It's those masculine presenting men or guys that go for the effeminate people. I'm telling you. So you're saying for in the gay community, basically, it's mostly the masculine gay people that tend to approach the more. Yes, the ones. masculine effeminate people. Sorry, masculine presenting men are the ones going after those effeminate people. Okay, so have you had a masculine gay person try to reach out to you based on the fact that you have any feminine traits? Yes. Mm-hmm. And yes. how did that make you feel? I don't really. I just, okay. Not really that I'm feeling bad or anything about it. I will tell you, some person might not come in, like going straight to the point. Come back, ah, French show, ah, can I have your number? Because I usually work in an event every week. So I've seen a lot of persons. What kind of events? Weekend job, like ushering and all the rest with okay. that. So yeah. Okay. And even in my school, I've seen a lot of persons. Do you come, ah, can I have your number? I do you, maybe through one means to get a number from through discussion you getting you understand so it's not always the feminine people going after your gate mm-hmm. so I don't have any problem with it I don't okay you don't have any problem with gay yeah, people it is the you, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't have any problem with gay people approaching you basically you you don't mind it it's not a problem for you basically sorry you don't have any problem with gay people trying to approach you or if any, I, I can, no I don't have any problem any problem it is my response to them that will determine. So what are your responses been so far? If a gay person approached me, yeah. my response, I don't know. We can just, I might, if someone like me, I have a lot of gay people on my contact list, you understand? And even if you, maybe you, you, um, your intentions are whatever reason, I don't know, I will have your number because I'm a business person. You might patronize, I know a lot of, a lot of them that have patronized me, that have referred me to, to more people. So I can't just because of you, uh, your intention, whatever. I'm after, I'm after my business and the money. I will get from you. So if you approach me, I will call, I will we will communicate this communication. So that's it. So it just you in situation basically where um in the aspect of like okay, like for example, when like like I said, gay people approach you or whatever in terms yeah. of you being an effeminate man yeah. and everything, and maybe they try their luck, you know, to see if it's gonna work, and maybe they try to hang around you. I know, um, I know in the community, basically in the LGBTQ community, I know they tend to like to stick together. Do you think that basically, like, okay, first of all, do you think basically that most of them stick around because they're trying to wait for the moment that they, you can have access to you? Because <laughs> most times, some people are in situation, even people who are completely straight or who are very masculine, yeah. there's a identity confusion or they're not, um, or the orientation, they're not sure what they are. Yes, you by know curious. what I mean? So they are still battling with yeah, that, yeah, they're either coming people. out or whatever in that kind yeah. of situation. And do you think that you can, you fall in the middle of that? In of that, if um, I'm a bi curious, so yes. to find out where sometimes, yeah, because it doesn't mean the fact that you engaged in anything gay or anything, but for the fact that you you have this 
feminine Fishers side already. of you basically yeah you're comfortable around people who are gay comfortable around people who are um you know who have who identify as other have other identities basically you know yeah. what i mean and you feel more comfortable in this situation because i i one thing i know for sure is that if you're more in a masculine environment there'll be this discomfort because people be like, why is he acting like a girl? Yeah. You're not trying to say. I've been bullied. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll come to that bully part, basically. <laughs> uh, but in situation that situation, like, don't you feel that um, you being comfortable in that situation, I don't think that feel that curiosity of, I'm, I, don't you think I, I should probably be in this, um, in this section, like in this side of this world I where, I feel like I can be myself without anybody judging me because that's what the LGBTQ community yeah. is all about. Where you feel like you can express yourself, you know, and you can be open to express yourself in any way you can yeah. without you feeling that anyone's going to look down or to turn you down. So don't you feel basically like, number one, you're in the middle of both because you can't fit in completely in the LGBTQ community because you're not identifying as um, anything other than being straight. Yeah. But you have things of like, you know, you be having a feminine side and that your side and everything, which is more of, like you said, the real you or is more comfortable around the LGBT community. Yeah. So don't you feel like in that situation that like you can tend to be in bi or situation where you feel like I might actually be better off being around people who are gay or people who identify as not straight? It's a choice. Mm -hmm. It's something you have to, it's something you just have to tell yourself, ah, okay, do I really want to go into this? What we people one thing, one thing, a lot of persons or let me, okay let me not say, let me say for myself. One thing is not what people will say. You understand? If it's not, I'm an adult and if I want to go into a particular thing, I don't even need to I tell anybody. Ah, this is I don't, it's none of your business. It mm -hmm. is my business. So it, like I said, it's a choice if I want to. I would decide on my own if I want to. Okay. So what I'm saying, I, and, and obviously it's your choice. I'm just yeah. saying that the thoughts about it. Okay, like there. if I want to. Yes. I'm sort not of. certain. I'm you're not, not certain. certain. You're, yeah. still, you're still in that contemplation stage. <laughs> I'm not certain. You're not certain. Like that's yeah. no problem and everything. So do, how do you feel basically in this situation? Because I can imagine it being for a while if you're in that state where obviously, like you said, you're uncertain about if you want to stick to being straight or exploring these other sides of you know the other of the of the, of the lgbt yeah. community because there's so many things that you, you can decide to be a cross dresser you can decide to you know decide to be gay and in fact some people most of the people are like and nowadays people could be, be people begin to come out you know of their show obviously yeah, we have a societal closest. societal um aspect of obviously nigeria and how people tend to look yes. and anything but people begin to get more confident in being open about themselves yes, and their sexuality yeah. i've gone to parties and i see people who are expressive obviously yes. they're not they're not showing them, but you can tell that they are, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So don't you feel basically that in the situation where like you feel more comfortable to be in a situation where you can actually be more expressive in that community or in that situation? And don't you feel like you're being left out in the fact that you're in, you're in between both worlds because you're not, you're, you, you have a place where you belong per se. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you said I'm not really comfortable, <laughs> I'm not really uh, like, I don't know the place where I belong. I have a place where I belong. Like I've said earlier, it is it's just a decision that someone one will make for themselves. Mm -hmm. And one thing again, I can blend wherever I find myself. Mm -hmm. So I won't just like stand up one day and say, oh, let me join the LGBT community member. Or let, you understand, I won't just stand up one day and start thinking of how to switch or swing both ways and all the rest. Because it comes with a lot. It comes with a lot. Yes. And a situation where someone has actually come out through an indirect, that's someone you don't expect came to meet you or try to, you know, check you or something. Or a situation where that you've been in a situation where someone you don't expect that is, is that, has that have, if, if, if it is, can you just share the story? Okay. <laughs> I know some some persons. Okay, like okay, this particular guy. Mm -hmm. He's someone I know, and he's into all this athletic stuff. Like I said, you won't really tell if someone is queer when he's very masculine, athletic, doing all this kind of guys guy stuff. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, this particular person, as like according to my friend, we say now full man in B, <laughs> no trace of effeminate or whatever feminine side. No. Mm -hmm. He's someone I know, and we've been talking like no matter a guy, how far, all the kind of stuff. But there was a particular day, a particular person texted me on Snapchat. 
on Snapchat. Ah, I never knew it was in, you get. So we are just texting, 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 like, ah, you know me, kind of, like, whenever I post a picture, the person will comment sweet, all the kind of funny, funny comments, you understand? So I'm like, okay, let me give attention to this person to know who the person is and all the rest. So we started communicating from there. I never expect, and we've been, even at, maybe sometimes we might be chatting, and maybe we might stay close, or maybe, like, going out or all the rest. But I never knew it was that particular person, you understand? Until the day the person just sent me, I was like, can I see your picture? Let me even know who I'm coming, because now that there's no picture, you can't, you just need to be all this sign of figure, you understand? So, okay, let me see who I'm communicating with. And the person sent me, I was like, ah, ah you did joke. <laughs> Guy, you think this, you understand? So we just talked. As you knew him. You said? You knew yes, him. yes. And I never expected, like, like when the person said they are not gay, they are just bisexual, you understand? That, okay, they are, they are bisexual, but they want to try, like, they want to try, for the first time, you understand? So there's, there's a, there's a, I know there are some straight guys. They are straight too. They are, they've done it like they've had sex with the same gender, but they are still straight. Would you call that straight or that's being bisexual? That's not bisexual. What's being bisexual? Bisexual. No, this is it. A lot of persons really. Now, bisexual is when you swing both ways. Is it that you do more one or? It might not be 50-50. It's not, it's not possible. Yeah. One might be higher. One has below, yeah. Yes. But I know a straight guy. This is what I mean. There are straight people. They are straight. Having sex with someone for, a, for one day doesn't make you gay or doesn't make you bisexual. You understand? Sexual identity comes from, yeah, not you get. So uh, if, if you think sexual identity comes from the mind and not yes. from... Because I can't imagine if someone has had sex. If a guy has, if a, if a guy has sex with another guy, yes, you understand. I you saying that if a guy has sex with another guy, once, and they now enough with another girl that they are, that they are not bisexual, that they are straight. Yes, I'm telling you. Why do you say that? Because I still feel feel it. Now. One thing, eh, you can, you can decide who you have sex with, but you can't decide who you have attraction for. Don't you have to have an attraction to person? Don't you have to attract to somebody for you to actually have sex with a person? For me, yes, I must have a turn on for you. Uh -huh. I can't just ask you that someone that there's no attraction. What am I doing? So if you ask with a guy and then end up now once and then end up staying with girls, will you not say because of that you're straight? If like okay, if I perhaps I have sex with a guy mm -hmm. for the very first time, and I keep having sex with guy with girls, that does not mean I'm gay or bisexual. Why? It's something. <laughs> let me tell you now. Let me tell you. When, like I said earlier. You can decide who you have sex with, but you can't decide who you have attraction for. For you to for, for you to be a continuous something, you must have attraction for it. Now, when people maybe have sex with, with a guy for the very first time, one, one time, and they've, and, and they've stopped, you understand? They, they, they are exploring. They are exploring. They're, they're, you know, there are such <laughs> a um, fetish or whatever. Okay. I, I don't know. I feel it is like really this part, but I'm trying to also, also understand your part because that's why we're having this uh, conversation. Yeah. So personally, I feel like, okay, let's say if you have sex with a guy, okay. for you to have sex with a guy, basically, there has to be a level of attraction. attraction. There has to be something that you're, because any straight person that wants to see guy, they will not see it personally for if we look at the aspect. Any straight person that sees any guy, there's not, I want to explore your yash. I want to see how it will look like, that kind of vibe, that kind of thing. Any, any, any kind of thing where they were looking at, basically, they're looking at either um, it being with a girl, and there are a lot of sexual explorations to have with a girl. Yes, there's a lot. You understand? So I feel like if they want to now have it with the same guy, I think whether you like it or not, there's a gay mentality there, or a bisexual mentality, basically, at that point in time. I disagree. You disagree? Why disagree? Like I've been saying, and I will keep saying. You have to make me. You have to make me believe what you're saying because yes. you're not saying. You're just telling me a statement, but you're not. You're not convincing me. Okay. Now this is it. Okay. How, how do I put it? Now, for a guy to have sex with another guy for the very first time, that does not make him gay. Okay. Like I said, sexual identity and sexual expression is different. Oh, yes, sexual identity and sexual orientation, sorry, is different. Sexual, sexual, sexual orientation is who you are attracted to. We have the gay, bisexual, transgender, pan, and all the rest. You understand? Then, sexual expression. You want to express, like, you want to, like, we have, like, I told you, by curious people, they are not bisexual, but they just, they just have that urge. I'm telling you, they are, they are not gay. They are not even bisexual. But they just want to. I'm telling you, it's up. Maybe you might not, or you might you might not see have 
I've been listening, I've heard, I've on, it's it's on social media. It's on social media. That what? I it's on social media. I I've I've watched a lot of podcasts. So we had to discuss several stuff and they've given incidents. Okay, I've I haven't seen a straight man with, 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 with a transgender. You've not seen a straight sorry, man. A straight like mommy. a straight man had stuff with a transgender. Mm-hmm. What, well, I've heard of that situation. What basically. do you call that? I know you, there are different names. They call all these different things at the meantime. But a hey, that means someone who is a male turns to female. Like, yes. like basically, that's that. Yes. The, to me, basically, I feel like that person is. So, okay, one question. So, someone who's transgender, that person not still a male. Sorry. To you. So, if a guy changes features, like what Bobrisky did, basically. Yes. We are, we are classified Bobrisky as transgender now, B. Yes. I mean, the trans woman. Yes. Trans, yeah. Yes. So, if any guy is having sex with Bob, with Bobrisky. Yes. Doesn't that mean the person is gay? The person is not gay. No, I'm coming to you. Like, I'm giving you an instance. So, if someone now, a guy, has to say Bob Brisky now, yes. they are not gay? He's not gay. Why? He's still a as a woman. But, okay, now, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Continue, I'm listening. Now, sorry, if, for instance, you don't know Bob Brisky, like, you've not heard about him, Bob appears, would you call Bob a guy? If I, if what? If Bob Brisky appears, and Bob Brisky is not, he, he's not this controversial, you understand? And Bob appears here, will you call Bob a guy? Yes, I will call Bob a guy. How? Oh. First of all, like, everybody knows, basically, everybody has seen the you fact that... What I'm saying. Okay, you mean in terms of the Bob appearance? Not contro- but no, to be honest, the think. appearance, you can still see that he's a guy, he's a guy, he has, he, has some of, he has a lot of male features, basically, when you look at him, basically. And from what I've heard, basically, his, his uh, penis is still intact. Leave the social media stuff. No, oh, you don't believe that? I don't believe it. No, like, okay, if penis is... Th- it might be there, I don't know. It might be there. That, that's not my business. So in that situation, what I'm but saying, so we not, wait, okay, if he if, if his um, public parts are still intact, his male dominant um, mm. penis is still there, yes. don't you think that as someone has sex guy. with that person, does it, doesn't it have that person is gay to have that person, even if they see how he has the female features of, of, um, of, a, of a lady? That person isn't gay. That person is not gay. person is not gay. Okay, no. so, okay so, so if, <laughs> if Bob Risky no. walks in, basically, and you're attracted to that person, attracted to Bob, Bob Risky, yes. yes? Okay. Would you have sex with Bob Risky? If I would have sex with Bob Risky. Yes. <laughs> I will. You will? Yes. Why? Now, I'll give you a reason. That, 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 that's what I'm saying. Now, being a trans, that we are even deviating from everything that we are in trans now. But let me just say from the little it's I all, know. It's all related it's somehow. All related, yeah, yeah. From, from, the, from the little I know. Being a trans, a trans um, woman, that's a man transitioning to a woman, your genital like your your gent your genital organ does not even if okay now like like you say Bob, um, Bob Risky has a penis according to you what you said what the what, what, what the government has said <laughs> okay. when when they actually checked him basically in the prison and everything and they said like it was intact and you believed it what well, they just wanted to make fake, fake rumors it's just the, let's not talk about, you, let's you, talk you about met, I remember Bob Risky in real life I've not met him Okay. In real life, no, no, I've not. Okay, you're very certain that it's not the uh, true. No, like if it's man, it might be. It's okay. best to do trans, um, um, gender assignment. It's not easy. Gender reassignment is not easy. Okay. Like cutting off your meal is not easy. That one is there. But now what, what I'm trying to say is this: a guy or a straight guy having stuff with a transgender does not that that, that 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 does not make him gay. I'm telling you. Okay. That does not make him gay because I'm why? trying to process why. Yeah. It does not see that person as a male. You finding out that the person has a um, male productive organ as you. No, no, no. You're not seeing the person as a male. And you are treated to the person as a f- you are treated for that person is a female. Okay. Not a male attraction. Sorry, sorry to say. Now, once in the game you are attracted to, you're not really attracted to the person because of you want, you want to have sex. The features the person is presenting to you are all female features. There's no trace of like muscle. You understand that kind of stuff? We but have there a lot are a lot of who are muscular. Sorry, no, I'm talking about trans. Okay. Yes, there's a lot of trans who are muscular. There are trans who are, yes, there are trans who are, you, okay, see, there are trans who are muscular. Who are, mo, uh, yes, muscular. Their parents, when you see, see, there are some trans, when you see them, you know, ah, this one, a boy, you really, you understand? And there are some you will see, you will never know, if they don't tell you. Or some, it is their voice. And there are some you will see, even if they speak to you, you will never know they are male, until they show you what they carry. You get? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... Being at- attracted to a trans doesn't make someone gay, from my own view and from what I've read. You are attracted to the pe- you are attracted to the sex, not what the person have done there. Okay, so my point is that if a guy appeared or identified as a lady, yes, and you are attracted to that person, yes, you have to that person, yes, yeah, because you feel that that person identifies as a female. So for you, 
being a straight guy, as far as the guy says he, he, he feels he feels he's a female, he does not bother you, so you can have sex with the person because the person is identifying as a female. Yes. Okay. And that makes complete sense to you in the straight <laughs> world. That's what I'm saying. See, thank God he said in a straight we live in heteronormative society. You uh-huh. understand? That's a heterosexual society. And they don't conform to certain things. You understand? Mm-hmm. They don't conform to certain things. So you saying that makes sense to me in a, a straight world. It's not really aligning. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like I said earlier, and I was six, and I keep saying it. There are straight men that have sex with transgenders. There are straight men. So you think it's just some of the transgenders we have in the society, even in Port Harcourt, some of the we have in Port Harcourt. So you think it's only people that it's only the people that have sex with them? No. Okay. So you think do, 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 so? So do you think people who have become transgender are doing that so that they can feel more comfortable for the guys who they actually would like to feel more comfortable? to have sex with them. That's for them being transgender. Yes. See, sorry. Everyone has their own reason of being whatever they want to identify as you understand. Mm-hmm. Their aim or their purpose of being transgender might not be about sex. Let me ask you to the straight person. You understand? They have, someone, that's who they want to be. That's who they are comfortable in. Being a woman, a mm-hmm. guy. That's who he or she wants to be. We have read this too. In trans, transgender into a man. So, you know. But let's not go there. So someone being a transgender does not mean it's because of having intercourse. That's the purpose. No. They all have their reason. They are not comfortable maybe the way they wear. Or some, as they were growing up, they already have that feminine presenting trait. Like, if they don't tell you this guy is a child, I'm sorry, this child is a guy, you won't know. So they all have their reason. And some persons, being trans to them does not, is, is not an embodiment of who they are. It might be one percent of who they are. You understand? They have, they have their life going. They don't have to listen to that zone because I'm a trans. Everything must revolve around me being a trans. You understand? Mm. So they all have their own reason and their, the aim of being a trans. Okay. And then, we, in, in, um, okay, so for you feeling in your mentally aspect that you feel, that, okay, fine, you can be straight and have sex with a guy, but the fact, the fact that you have sex with a guy once or twice does not mean you're gay. That that means you're sexually exploring. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm using your words you said, right? That, that, uh, you said it, that, that the sex is more in the mind than in the... Uh, so the way you said, it's said, more about the attraction. Or something. I said, you, like, like, you can decide who you have sex with. Okay. But you can't decide who you have attraction for. Okay, so there's a difference between sex and attraction. Yes, there's a difference. So in the aspect that a guy can have sex with someone that they are attracted, at, attracted to, to yes but that does not mean the fact that they what um they are whatever they did to that person okay so now for you now who's a straight person for what you okay. say now have you had something with a guy i haven't and being like okay because the guy says he's a girl or something like that or he doesn't identify or it's an uh, oh, i'm exploring i am not Gay, yeah. I'm straight. Yes. So you said that you have basically in that situation. Sorry. So you've been in that kind of situation before. If you've been in that kind of situation before. If what I'm asking you. If <laughs> <laughs> I said if basically <laughs> mentally. Okay. You know, you are not you are attracted to a particular person. Yes. Yeah. But basically, it's not who your who you feel like you want your your where who you're orientated your your you use sexual attraction and sexual um. What do you call it again? Sexual attraction and sexual um, what again? Sexual orientation. Sexual, uh, and sexual, sexual identity. Identity. No, because yes. you, you say something about you can talk to somebody, but that doesn't mean that you're also um, sexually. Um, okay, like what I said earlier. Yeah. I said you can decide who you have sex with. Mm-hmm. You can decide is that is that a male or if you can decide the decision, but you can't decide who you're attracted to. That's so, where the sexual orientation comes from. So you don't need any any line between attraction because sex is also an attraction. Sex is a feeling. So you have to talk to somebody to want to be in that situation. That person is naked with you. Yes? Like if someone is naked. So now, that's be a level. Because sex, there's a lot of things involved. You're intimate with the person. You're kissing the person. Yeah. You're holding the person. You're yeah. having a, a, an extra pleasurable time with that person. Okay. So there has to be a level of attraction for you to be in that, in that vulnerable situation with that person. Yeah. Correct? Yes, you're right. So naturally, you can't just say that there's no sexual attraction with that exploration of that of you wanting to have that need to that sexual sex with that person no let me tell you let me back to what I said is 
there are some straight person that have sex with a queer person want and they've not gone back there because why there was no attraction when attraction comes it's become a continuous something it can be continuous process you keep doing it you get i've seen people there are a lot of like there are i will even put it okay there are guys that will say ah okay me and this me, um, i've asked off with this guy and since then nothing like we just do the thing like there are people have sex without attraction they just want to satisfy their that moment they want to satisfy their urge, like, and this girl is a, you, you think every guy going for hookup, calling girl for hookup, they're attracted to the girl? No. They just want to satisfy, to satisfy their urge at that moment. There are some cases when a guy or whatever calls for hookup, they don't, it's not the, that particular person, they don't look at that person again, you understand? Because they're not attracted to that person. When you're attracted, there's no way you, you won't call that person. You understand? Once attraction comes in, it will be a continuous process. What if you feel that basically they're actually trying to hold down their urges because of society or because of how they are not happy with how they feel? No matter how they're trying to hold their urge or their self, you're not doing it in the open. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you can still be battling with whatever you're battling with and you're still having your pleasure in the dark. So, it, it, you understand? <laughs> no, go ahead, I'm listening. So... Someone can, like, I, I, I will keep saying, and, and I've been saying it, you can have, you, I mean, sorry, without having attraction for a particular gender, it won't continue. Like I said, there are several sexual fetish. There is one story on, on TikTok that the guy was saying, he went to the mall, a lady stopped him that for she to keep her marriage, she, she usually bring boys for her husband. Like, they, they are doing whatever, threesome or whatever, but it must be a guy. That's how the, like, you know, that kind of situation. That's what her husband wants. And she has to protect the marriage. So she has to bring in someone, which is a, not, not even like a girl, like two girls, two, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So people have different ways of spicing their whatever. In that situation, basically now, so in that situation, relating it to you now, so basically, would you say you'd be comfortable to explore with a guy once? I won't. I won't and then it. basically because you want it so because uh, one thing basically like i said maybe you might not tell me here right now basically but i'm just saying the fact that off camera <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> you might tell me off camera yeah, but <laughs> because end of the day like for example like oh you took a bull step to come here and talk about these things basically yeah. you know you because okay let's say for example because like i said the only thing part of it being real and then whether you like it or not yeah what makes people actually um, appreciate it because you know you're not talking to the straight community, you're talking to people who say LGBTQ community or I'm people, or people who also are no, no, no. no, no, I'm saying you're not talking to just just the okay. people you're talking yes, to yes. people people who also have these feelings of effeminacy basically where they have yes. a feminist aspect and the people who actually who are situation basically where who are gay who are listening to you who also feel like or who, have, who are probably experienced this one off thing. Yeah. You understand? Who are listening to you basically? And obviously, from this, we're trying to look, because nobody has really had the opportunity to actually speak out properly. People yeah. have, but it's not like we're trying to have our own bit switch where we can actually create that in yes. a you know, platform for people to actually open up and talk more a bit about the situation. And what makes it better basically is when everybody's actually being real to the, to yeah. the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the from A to Z. Yeah. You understand? Because so the end of the day, because end of the day, like, if I was judging it, I won't be, you, 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 you won't be on the show in the first place. I'm saying, oh, I'll come with all these, like, you know, you know, attacking situations. Like, and well, I'm sorry, even before I, like, started this conversation with you from Instagram, mm -hmm. I've gone through your page. Like, mm -hmm. okay, let me see what this person, let me go through their comment. Let me see, okay, maybe this is, this, this might be a safe space, you understand? Mm -hmm. I didn't mean it's not. Sorry, I forgot my they sleep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How has society um, dealt with your, you being a feminine man? I'm sure you said, like you said, you've been bullied and situation. Like, yes. so can you run to me a couple of scenarios of things that people have said or experiences you've had? It's a lot. Now, while I was in my SS2, going to SS3, you know, they usually give prefect from SS2 when you're going to SS3 and all the rest, senior prefect, all the rest. So in the school I went to was a guy's school, all male school. That's school I went to my secondary school, boys' school. So the French teacher there, was one of the preferred committee, blah, blah, blah. And they asked us to apply for the prefect you want. I applied for the Puerto Rican prefect. While I was in my I was a senior prefect, you get. So I applied. Then, after I went for the interview and everything, okay, I was the only person that applied, applied for senior prefect in that, in SS2, I said, oh, both art and science. The one went for the interview and everything, they are done. The following, they said they want to call out the prefect, who we are selected, blah, blah, blah. 
we got to our uh, assembly, uh, assembly hall and they started calling, 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 calling. They called my name, social prefer. I'm like, ah, that's not what I applied for. I went for the entire and everything. So after the old thing, I went to meet the, one of the committee. I'm like, ah, sir, this is, I don't want it. I don't want social prefer, you understand? This, that, that's not what I applied for. If I wanted to apply for social prefer, I would have applied for it before. What did you apply for? Senior prefect. Okay. Now, the French teacher just came in and like, oh, take care now. Take care now. Sorry, you. And we not give you everything you want. That's not prefect. I'm like, ah, my wife. She said, because you're acting like a girl. A girl cannot be a snap prefect. A boy acting like a girl cannot be. Like, then I was still much but I can't forget that. A reason, not that I'm not qualified, though. A reason was I'm a feminine. That was a reason. That's a big bully. Because, okay, even the person she gave some prefect was not even ready because they don't even, that person never applied apply for it. It just, Give it, like giving the prince to someone that does not even apply or does not even want it just because I'm a, according to her, I'm a film that a boy acting like a girl cannot be the same part of a school and all the rest. We, uh, uh, that's too much. Honestly, I felt bad. I have to draw. I told them, let me just be an honorary today. I don't want to be anything prefect. Take your social prefect or whatever you're giving to me because <laughs> you pain me. <laughs> what about recent experiences? There are even being older, yeah. There are a lot of experiences. Yeah, tell me, okay, okay tell me, what, okay. Are you, what, what are the worst things? What were the worst things that you've experienced? The okay. worst ones. There was a time, if I, okay, in school, not like it, it's something I'm used to. Maybe in school, I would just be going out with my friends. My like female university friends. or? University. Okay, university. With my female friends. People would just be like, ah, see that gay, they pass. Like, you know, they're not saying that you're back. You're, you can hear them. You understand? You can hear them. Even in class, this to say, like that was the time we did anonymous in our WhatsApp platform, burning platform, and a lot of people, majorly the VRG were just talking this about me. Just say, they cannot know be, they cannot know. All the majors were like, if I'm, they were asking if I'm gay, if even in class, if we used to say it. So that was the reason that I started like going away from guys in the class. They would be like, you, you need to sit down with boy. You're not sitting with. I sit with girls. All my friends are female. All my friends are female. So they'll be like, you know, they, you, you don't sit with girls, you don't sit with guys, you don't go out with guys, everything gay, 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 you be gay, you be all the kind of stuff. So for me, I'm not even pained or bothered because something I've, I've been hearing that word, not, not like, I don't hear I don't pay. So I'm not really pained. It was then, I'd be like, I wanted to react, I would like to react, but listen, they won't stop. But one thing, there is one thing they usually say, if you don't confront your bully, they won't stop too. So there was a time I went to the hostel to visit one of my friends. He's effeminate in the hostel. As in a guy who is yes, who acts a like guy, a girl. A guy, yes. Yeah. So someone, <laughs> okay, when we walked in, someone just shouted, Oh, Mo. That was someone shouted. Mm -hmm. Then he, was, he didn't say anything. I don't know. He just caught someone. I don't know who he caught, though. And like, what's happening? He said, No, no, no. See, this is what they, like, they, it's something that is now an abyssal name from them. You understand? It's not what? Abisha, like something they've carried as Abi, the other wing people from the host there. So I, I don't know what it called, but not, let me say 15 to 20 minutes, Ami Van came in. Ami Van? Yes, came in and carried that particular, that shattered that stuff. I've had it dealt with that guy, I'm telling you since that day. Eh? <laughs> we understand who, who called your, your friend? Yes. Your, the, the, um, the feminine, yes. feminine guy, yeah? Yes. So. After that day, I'm telling you, if I enter that host or any person, those persons, they can't speak. Because why? <laughs> they, that, like, they've met, like, you know when you keep, someone keeps disturbing you, you don't respond to them, they feel like, at least nothing he feeds you or nothing she feeds you. But that very day, I don't know what, I, I don't know, maybe if, maybe they've been disturbing this, this is my friend, they've been doing it for a very long time, or maybe he has been planning to, as they were disturbing, you understand? So that they gave them what they wanted. Since that day, I'm telling you the truth, eh? even if eh, you wear we that old stare, they won't even answer you, because they know what to come after them. Okay. Do you think that was because your friend had connections or something? I don't really know if he has connections. I, and I didn't even ask, ah, guy, how far are you? I don't want to because I'm just, well, but at that day, I was satisfied. Hmm. Because it was explaining that these are the first time they've been constant bullying. It's now, we, like I said, the Abisha something. Mm. So maybe they, my guys might be sitting somewhere. They went to come. You come on, come on, come on. You do like girl. Look, look enough. It's a lot of person that cannot, there are some person that might not even be that strong. People go through a lot. It must not be maybe bullies. Bully is very bad though. Someone bully you. Someone constantly bullying you. Bullying you. Hmm. It's very, very bad. So your bullying was more um through was more um oral like vocals. Was more like yes. have you had any physical bully? No, 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 no. So do you think basically, yeah, that your parents didn't make you more man enough? Like I said. Mm -hmm. It's nature. I because, was for example, now I'll, I'll give one personal experience. Okay. Um, 
my dad died when I was quite when when I was like probably like ten or eleven. Do you understand? Okay. And um, it was my mom. I also have two sisters, okay. two younger sisters. And for the period when he was battling with illness, he was um, he had to go away to the UK also for treatment okay. and things like that. So with that time, basically, then I had we had two mates, two mates, two sisters. I have two sisters. My was my mom or something like that. And then when she went and everything, told me about my grandma. So my grandma felt like. I was not being too manly. manly, you understand, in the beginning, and said that, you know, like, um, I'm always mommy, 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 that kind of thing like that. Uh, because my mom and my mom, because of the situation, we were quite close. I'm the first son, you know what I'm saying? So I was around for like four years or so before my sisters came in to the place, you understand what I'm saying? So my grandma felt like, oh, I don't think this guy is too manly. She take time to go to Navy. I went to Navy school, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> so let him roughen up a little yeah. bit, that kind of vibe, which is something that you know. And then obviously, people you also meet people who like that, who who are probably from musician. Like I said, like that's why I asked you a question in the beginning. You know, um, the, the the your your surrounding, the family, or how you brought up. If you were brought up with more meals, one way or the other, I think personally you would have adapt adapted to that manly aspect and become a bit more manly because you don't you don't want you, you might it might be less less of the man one but i feel like okay, well, for, well I'm, I, I, that's, that's my, an assumption for me from what i think but i personally think that if you probably were more born in that situation where you're most with guys who like rain rough play they want to do wrestling or they want to do whatever because i at some point was even doing wrestling with my sisters and so one of my sisters who who came after me was now becoming more of a tomboy because of how I was now trying to yeah. in that situation. Until later on, they had to like, ah, this guy's becoming too comfortable with a man. Send her off. She now went off and she now became more of a girly kind of person. So I feel like the situation basically where you're growing up can actually affect how you can either switch from a man to a woman or your feminine traits and everything. So don't you think that, that the upbringing or this fact of situations or the, or the way you were kind of kept, that's kind of how what shape formed you into you being um, a feminine? Uh, feminine. Cause I personally believe basically that I think that things can be changed while you're growing up. So what is your take on that aspect? Okay. So in my own case, I did not learn it anywhere. Fine. I live with my sister. I live with girls. That one is there, but that's not the reason. I just found myself like that. Nobody taught me. Because let me say, for you to learn it, you must be looking at someone. You understand? Or maybe fine, like you said, your environment. But all those so you don't uh, think factors, environment. I disagree. You don't think environment, environment, environment. is a problem. No, my sister, I just found myself like that. I didn't learn it anyway. Yeah, because my, my point, you might think you found yourself like that, but because of how you grew up and mm-hmm. everything, mentally, you're like, you're not thinking that, oh, it's like that. Because and when sorry, you say nature. You know about the biological factor. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you think it's a biological factor? Yes. Okay, th- you got that. That's the nature. Okay, so tell about. me, in what way do you think it's a biological factor? What, in what way do you I'm think? I'm not excited today, but. No, because I, for, you to say, for you to say biology, yeah, you have to have, you, have, you must have done research, you have done listen, for you to think confidently say See, that biological aspect, you know what I'm saying? So, I've learned it. It's before. not like your hormones or anything, like your XXS or whatever, that constitution that like you feel like. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. So, what, what exactly is it? <laughs> you know, because you, 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 have, said you, this you have to stand by because you've said it, it. Because for you to be a feminine, I'm sure that the question when you ask yourself yourself, question, why do I. Why am I like this? I've, I'm not, I've not asked as many questions. No, because before. you say you've been bullied. You say you've been situation where. Yeah, yes, So yes, normally, yes, there's always a reflection of. Yes. How come I'm like, I'm a guy now? Why am I feeling like this? For you to say it's nature means that you've already come to the conclusion that you were born like that. Yes. So my point, like, for you to even get that to that, get to that point where you feel like a situation, they should have kind of like researches on why do guys act like girls? Or in a situation where, like, why do they people feel like I'm gay when I'm not? There should be questions that. You, you like it or not, will come to your head, especially sure, when you're growing definitely. up. So, and now that tradition when you were growing up, so did you think that was super reflection before? Mm-hmm. And what and what and what how, what came out of it, and what did you because we don't talk because people who are in this situation, yes, I who, know, and and they could learn from your own experience of how you would dealt with your, your how to your own situation. So, the, how did you in that so how did that you know, <laughs> like I said, I did not learn it, or I, I've told you, I've told you it's biological factor, but. People might not believe, but for them, might. In fact, not even people. The society, the, the society, this is how we found ourselves, this hetero society, they've already had that mindset that there's something where a man should behave. There's something where this is how a man should behave. This is a, it's a lie. Who told them? They will say, man, men don't cry. Men don't wear pink. Men, nah, lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's just their own belief and how they've perceived things to be. Mm. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's how they perceive things to be and, and how they've seen things. Mm. You understand? So when they see this new trend, they'll be like, oh, not, not even new trend. When they see people in a different certain way, they'll be like, in a certain way, they'll be like, ah, this one, you know well, though. This one, some, some might even say he's possessed. He is possessed. Nazim on the possessed. Like, it's a cake, honestly. 
Okay. How do you respond to people who say you're not a real man? Not even, not really. Like, you know, go behave like man. I was how man they behave. Mm -hmm. You tell me how man they behave now. Because be like, if they do how man, like, okay, I should. Niger it's just it's just like I said, it's, it's Nigeria. It's how they've gotten that mentality. It's the mentality they've, they've already been on for a very long time. So you can't even change it. You understand? It's as if you you put water into a basket, you get. Mm. So it's something they've. It's it's already there, just like in built. So, so, so something they've gotten that a man should be a certain way. Men don't cry. Men don't wear pink. Men don't do lip gloss. You got a guy dry mouth to the worker. Men don't do pedic. Those I don't understand why. So, <clears throat> so basically, but 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 don't you think that it's 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 something that because there's a reason why men do certain things and why women do certain things. For example, I noticed that you wear lipstick. You wear lip gloss. Yes, lip gloss kind of yes. vibe and everything, and. Obviously, uh, when people tend to see those kind of things, they're like, you know, why is he doing those kind of things? Yeah. Um, and I believe there's any, there's any other traits that you do that you display that more fall on the feminine side than the yeah. male side. Yeah. What other What other kind of things do you think that you do that um, <laughs> that you feel that people feel like this is what females should be doing? But I don't see. The, okay, the fact that okay, the fact that maybe I walk or I play or maybe I talk, I sashay maybe or in a feminine way, I wear lip gloss. That. And every okay, Jay, there are okay. Let me let's just say, during all this dry scene, all the rest, there are some guys that usually uh, moisturize. People moisturizing their lips. Me, okay, me wearing lip gloss, maybe that's the only thing I even do. But above maybe me, my physical appearance, maybe acting like a fem a girl or walking like a girl. Yeah, the only thing I is just wearing lip gloss, nothing much. Mm -hmm. So I don't even see any reason people people have that problem with because I know a lot of men too so, that wear lip gloss. Okay, and um, do you? You can't be working with dry lips now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be working with dry lips. You, I, I don't know how this people used to think, Sha. Okay, and then um, what's it called again? Um, in the aspect of um, obviously society and how they look at you and things like that and everything, and the other effeminate men out there who have this expression of, or who are confused, or not happy about um, the way society is looking at them or feel like they have a problem, you understand? How do you, what do you have to say to them or what do you think that you can tell them basically in the aspect of, you know, advice you get to the people who are doing so because most of some people actually feel bad about the way they being are. Being effeminate. Being, 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 yeah, they feel like they, why am I always acting feminine? I don't know why it's is annoying because maybe they're getting bullies from people or in a situation where they are, um, you know, in a situation where they are not just, or maybe probably comfortable with the situation, but because of what the society is seeing them, they have to try and adjust, uh, try to look for a way to, you know, fit in. to fit in, that kind of thing like this. So how, what do you want to say to people like for that? For me, I can never fit in. If you don't accept me, I don't, I, I, I can't start learning what I've not, they need the, um, I need to talk and say for, uh, for this thing, they need to the change bad character for adults. Yeah, but I need to talk and there's a way they say it. Mm. I can't start choosing to, um, let me go and gene. Waste of time. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's waste of time. Because this is how I've been. So you want me to go and start to fit into this, to people's, um, I can't conform to people's belief or people's whatever. There are people out there, they should just say, do you. That's just the only thing I have to say. Do you. They must talk. Even even those people will keep talking. Whether you're a masculine presenting man, man, they will talk. You're a feminine man, they will talk. You whatever you are, they will talk. So just do you. You're not see, you're the one in like I'm like, you're the one knowing what you're going through. Or you you only they, they only seeing your physical appearance and judging based on what they've seen. You understand? Just do you. There are people, if I, there, are, there are some feminine people that cannot even go out. Mm -hmm. because, because people talk about them. You understand? Mm -hmm. People talk about them. Or once they uh, maybe find themselves in the party, maybe in an event and all the rest, all eyes on them, they are not comfortable. I love attention. Mm. Me, yes. The more you look looking at them, give me something to look at. You understand? So people should just do them. Like, do you. Don't look at what people are saying. You understand? Because if you keep, if if if, if you want to live on people's term, if you want to live on people's term and condition, sorry, if you even die, then go tell you, you never even die away. You understand? So just do you. That's just it.